Hey everybody, it is time for my week 6 NFL picks. Before I get into my picks this week, let's see how I did last week. Last week happened to be my best week of the season so far. Went 11-5 and five on my picks, including my upset pick of the Dallas Cowboys over the Rams. I still don't get how Dallas was a 5.5 point underdog. All right, so these are the games for week six. These are straight up picks. Uh, before I get into them, we have teams that are off this week: the Detroit Lions, Tennessee Titans, Las Vegas Rams, and the Hu or Raiders. Pardon me, the Las Vegas Raiders and the Houston Texans are all off this week. Let's start with the Thursday night game. The Washington Commanders travel to Chicago to play the Bears. The Commanders are one and four. The Bears are two and three. This is a pick 'em game, according to. The odds makers. I'm going to take a bit of a shot here. I'm going to go with the Commanders to win this game. Chicago's run defense is not the best run defense in the league. Washington has some good running backs. Uh, McKissick, Gibson, and now with the return of Brian Robinson, I think they may use the run game a little bit more than the pass. I think the Commanders are going to rebound and get a win here today. Now to the games on Sunday. The 49ers travel to Atlanta to play the Falcons. The 49ers are 3-2. and two. Falcons are 2-3. and three. San Francisco favored by 5.5. I'm going to go with the 49ers to win this game to go to 4-2. and two. The New England Patriots travel to Cleveland to play the Browns. Both teams are 2-3. and three. Cleveland is favored by 2.5. I'm going to be honest. This was a tough game to pick. One of the toughest games to pick this week. I'm going to go with the Patriots to win this one. I thought Cleveland was for real, but I guess maybe they aren't. I'm going with the Patriots to win on the road. The New York Jets travel to Green Bay to play the Packers. Both teams are 3-2. and two. The Packers are a 7.5 point favorite for this game. Hey, I went on the Jets bandwagon last week and they won. I'm not doing that again this week. I'm going with the Packers to get the W. The Jacksonville Jaguars travel to Indianapolis to play the Colts. The Jaguars are 2-3. and three. The Colts are 2-2-1. Two, two and one. The Colts are a two-point favorite. Again, this is another hard game to pick. I'm going with the Jaguars to win this one. I still have not been able to figure out the Colts. If they are a real team, if they're just completely messed up, I'm going with the Jaguars to win. The Miami Vol uh, Vulcans, the Miami Vol Vikings live long and prosper. The Miami Vikings travel to Mi or the Minnesota Vikings. Damn it, I can't see anything right today. The Minnesota Vikings travel to Miami to play the Dolphins. The Vikings are four and one. The Dolphins are three and two. Minnesota is a three and a half point favorite. Um, if Miami didn't have the problem with keeping their quarterbacks healthy. I might take Miami, but I'm going to go with the Vikings to win this one to go 5-1. and one. The Cincinnati Bengals travel to New Orleans to play the Saints. Both teams are 2-3. and three. Cincinnati is a point-and-a-half favorite. Again, this was another tough game to pick, but I am going with the Bengals to win this one on the road to get back to 500. But again, that was another tough game to pick. The Baltimore Ravens go to the Meadowlands to play the Giants. The Ravens are three and two. The Giants are four and one. Baltimore is a five and a half point favorite for this game. And I'm going to say it. I think the Giants are for real this year. This is my upset pick for the week this week. I'm taking the Giants to beat the Ravens at home. Tampa Bay Buccaneers travel to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. The Buccaneers are 3-2. and two. The Steelers are 1-4. and four. Tampa is favored by 8. I am going with the Buccaneers to win this one at Pittsburgh. The Steelers got destroyed last week. I don't know how they're going to be able to rebound mentally this week. I'm taking Tampa to win. The Carolina Panthers travel to Los Angeles to play the Rams. The Panthers are 1 and 4. The Rams are 2 and 3. The Rams have the biggest point spread this week. They are favored by 10. 
Uh, like I said, Carolina's just falling apart, folks. I'm taking the Rams to win this one. This should be an easy rebound win for the Rams. The Arizona Cardinals travel to Seattle to play the Seahawks. Both teams are 2-3. and three. The Cardinals are favored by 3. I don't know what's going on with them either. They can't seem to get stuff together either. I'm taking the Seahawks to win at home. I did not think I'd be picking Seattle that much this year uh, to win, but they're going to win this game on Sunday. The Buffalo Bills travel to Kansas City to play the Chiefs in a rematch of what people have called the greatest playoff game of all time. Both teams are 4-1. and one. Buffalo favored by 2.5. Kansas City had a close game Monday night against the Raiders. I'm going with the Bills. I'm still convinced the Bills are the best team in the National Football League. I'm taking Buffalo to win. The Dallas Cowboys travel to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. The Cowboys are 4-1. and one. The Eagles 5-0. and oh. Philadelphia favored by 6. I expect this to be a closer game, especially with the Dallas defense. But I still like Philadelphia to win. The Eagles will stay undefeated. And the Monday night game. The Denver Broncos travel to Los Angeles to play the Chargers. The Broncos are 2-3. and three. The Chargers are 3-2. and two. L.A. favored by four and a half. Folks, I kind of feel bad for you if you're a Broncos fan. You've got Russell Wilson, who's going to the Hall of Fame someday, in my opinion. This team is in shambles. This team is in complete shambles. I'm taking the Chargers to win this week. So, do you agree or disagree with my picks? Leave a comment. In the comment section below, hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe, and click on the bell to get notifications of when a new video pops up. Thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy your week six of the NFL.